It's a heavyweight championship showdown between Bruce Lee and Michael Bisping. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight the american is 31 the brit is 37. he will have a three inch reach advantage all right now for the introductions we go to bruce buffett ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins our referee in charge of the octagon herb d and now this is the moment ufc fans around the world have been waiting for live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 31 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the challenger, Michael the Cap Bisping. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's going to be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definitely striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Right hand upstairs. Ronnie oh, lands another punch there, DC. Plenty more where that came from, or so you would think. The accuracy is a sight to behold. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Attempts the front kick there. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Kick to the body by Bisbee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? His big shot is blocked. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. And he landed the right hand there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Not there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big fall punch land. Now he gets back to range. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Right hand landed. Bisping's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. Oh, double leg lands. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, right? man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. He forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, 
I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. You can really limit the move. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Throws the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. Back and forth we go. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nice strike. Real quick leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just misses there with the left. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Big kick land. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Powerful leg kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, a really good second round for a must four after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch lands over the top. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Back and forth we go here. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Look at the force behind that leg. Oh! Nice hook lands. Oh, just misses with the kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Bisping's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, he lands another.
another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big body to land. And he lands the knee to the body now. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, strong punch there by Bisbee. Ten minutes in the books. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good not for Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. He blocks the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Right hand upstairs. Another punch to the head. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Michael Bisping retreating here. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. A little single collar tie there. Ooh. It's such a fast leg kick. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. His thing gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. making noise with a knee strike there. Nice defense there, huge block. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off with. Oh, big punch land. I'm not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Tags him with the left. It's a nice back and forth action here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, nice right hand. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the zip without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least 
least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Single call inside. Just misses with the straight right. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch by Bisping. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He secures the double leg takedown. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up, he went high with his opponent. Now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, hook to the body here, but strong defense by Lee. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Big leg kick land. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Bisbin. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. And I think many. Big shot lands. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it so much for him. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watch this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Visibly limping here. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, nice straight punch there by Bisping. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He got recognized. Oh, and now he's got a good man. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Oh! Oh! He landed it perfectly. Trying to 
go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Nice punch land over the top. Ooh. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, thunderous legs hit him and lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Bisping gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. But how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Bisping gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Beautiful leg kick throw. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Nice leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to stop in this contest at one minute, eight seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO! And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion So there he is, and 
still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He successfully retains the title here tonight and does so by TKO. Nice embrace there with the head coach. This is a celebration that is gonna continue all night long tonight. Not only did they defend the belt, but they get the style point.